Place the appropriate insoles into the liner. Secure the shell in the binding on the boot spreader. Unclip the lower buckles and attach the steel handles. Pull back the lever to stretch the shell open. Then repeat the process for the other side. Place the liner into the open shell and then release the handles to close it. Fasten the laces to close the liner and then release the handle from the other side of the shell. Release the binding and remove the boot from the boot spreader. Next, remove the necessary equipment from its packaging. Affix cushioning pads to the ankles and instep of the customer to protect their feet during the process. Next, fit an appropriate pair of technical ski socks. Then, place a toe protector over the socks. Place the customer's feet into plastic socks. Adjust the boot buckles to their maximum width setting. Place the customer's foot into the boot and finish securing the liner using the lacing system. Once secured, fasten the boot buckles. Have the customer stand on an appropriate angled surface. Mix the chemical components in the foam container provided. Then shake for 15 seconds. Once complete, affix the foam container to the tubes at the rear of the liner. Secure the container in plastic and invert to begin the flow of foam. During this process, the customer should continually vary between the neutral and forward flex positions. When the foam begins to emerge from the tubes at the front of the boot, 
cover the ends with plastic. Bend back and hold the tubes at the rear to stop the flow of foam. Apply pressure and pull from the rear to remove the tubes. Then, repeat the process for the tubes at the front of the boot. Unclip the boot buckles and untie the laces on the liner. Then, have the customer step out of both the boot and the plastic bag. Remove the socks and the cushioning pads from the customer's feet. Place the liner back in the shell and have the customer put their socks back on. This will enable testing under the optimum conditions. Ask the customer to flex forwards in order to test the fit.